I think probably the whole of the audience is for platings. I may be the only person for a nail. Or a very few people talk about nails. Huh? No, no, it's not overestimating. I've been talking about this for so many years, but no one is doing nails. So, no, that's underestimating actually. Na nail is coming back. Nail is coming back. <laughs> what learn? You know it very well. Yes, yes. 2000, since 2009, this has been discovered that a nail throws circumferential callus, whereas plate throws callus only on the opposite side. That's the medial side, if at all done properly. Huh? Uh, that's the amount of callus. A nail, if it's properly done, it's fine. Go ahead with it. If your fracture anatomy is good, you know how to do it. But there are these predictors of failures. If there's a medial combination, people have talked about it. Plate less than 10 holes used. Shorter plate. All locking screws. Distraction at the fracture site. So that's not good. If you do this, you might have a failure. Now look at this. This is an A1 type of a fracture. We went ahead and put a nail. I always depend on the bone stock in the distal fragment. Go ahead with do the, doing the nail. This is the result of, at around one and a half years. No patellofemoral problems. This is an extended type of a nailing. Again, two distal fracture, A1 type, A1 type, we went ahead. This small incision, you need not do bigger incisions. But your nail should be proper. The nail should be good enough so that it, has have, it is having multiple, multi-planar screws in the distal fragment. And here, this is immediately post-op and here the plate patient is very fine. Immediately post-op, you should po always put the patient on CPM. That's very important for your knee range of motions. Now look at this, again a A1 type of a fracture, went ahead, did this. Now in this particular nail, if you see by my pointer, this is a screw which is a condylar compression screw. You can compress from both the sides, so your A1 type of fracture is left. Medial combination, are you going to address this? I don't think it needs any address uh, uh, to be addressed. This is six weeks and this is the nail, this is the nail. Look at the screw. The pitch of the screw is such that it has got good hold on the near cortex and a proper hold on the opposite cortex. This is another case wherein you can just hold the fracture fra fragments properly, put K wires, if at all it's an A1 type of fracture, that's my limit probably, and then put these condylar screws, hold your condylar uh, fragments well, put a nail, and uh, go ahead with an, this is an anterior AP, AP locking in the lesser trochanter. All these nails should be long enough to reach the lesser trochanter. No short nails used at all. So here it is, here it is that small incision, two months, this is six months, very well consolidated fracture at a year. Here is another fracture wherein in three months the patient is sitting very well and this is an extreme nailing probably. No one in the hall probably will go in for a nailing but I do if the bone stock in the distal fragment is good. As it is, even if you're doing a plating, you are going to put three screws there. You are going to put three or four screws if the bone stock is good. You are going to open the fracture. Open the fracture and put a nail. Why not? Nowadays, I have changed my indications also to this. Here in, when there is a junctional fractures at the distal levels, wherein you will get a mismatch in the intramedullary canals, go ahead and put this nail. You get excellent results. Again, these junctional fractures, you put a nail, and here it is at a year's follow-up, you get good results with this nail. The junctional fractures are such that if only putting lateromedial lockings will give rise to this. This is a bell clapper effect, wherein there will be a lot of translation movement and the nail will give rise to a, a non-union at that fracture. So if you use a distal femoral nail with these four locking screws, it's a distal load-bearing implant and you get better results with this at this level fractures. I've extended my indications. Now look at this. This is also a comminuted fracture wherein we went ahead and did the nailing. It was a floating knee with a small incision. Nail the femur, nail the tibia and you're out. Long nail and this is six months follow-up. CPM put immediately. The nail does not have any problem with the knees at all. You have to have four screws, two lateral medial planes and two oblique planes and the non-union rate in nail is very less. This was uh, my case wherein there was a, a very unstable injury for the femur and we put, started with the distal femur nail, we got an AP locking in the proximal fragment and a lateral medial locking from the nail and the plate also, so the stability was good. Now at five months, this is the x this is 18 months follow-up. Another case wherein there was a bad comminuted intramedullary fracture, uh, intraarticular fracture, we went ahead, we went ahead and put this, open the fracture. Now, even if you're opening the fracture, you're getting a good reduction. 
instead of a plate, I'm putting a nail. And here, this is a nail with four screws there, and at six weeks, this is the result, and the patient is having good range of movements if you put a good, the patient on CPM mobilization. Now, this, this is a case wherein there are four part fracture of the uh, on neck and a segmental femur. We went ahead, we did this. Now, this nail has a, been, has just crossed this fracture over here. There is one screw over here, the AP locking screw, and we could get this screw also through the uh, lateral medial locking of the nails, making this fragment quite stable. And here we went ahead and put this DHS for the neck fracture. The take home would be both nailings and platings are good enough. You judge in your hands whatever is good, but if you are doing a nail, do a proper nail. A long nail till the lesser trochanter with good lockings, four lockings in the distal fragment. Clinically, clinical outcome largely depends on your surgical technique rather than your choice of implants. The LCP is too rigid, but if executed well, it will give you good results. It's high time now that the nail returns. It's really high time. Please learn and please learn to use the proper nails, not the nails with just lateral medial lockings. You have to have a nail with four plane lockings in the distal fragment. Thank you.